let me show you a game that's called Mind Test. The um, major portions of the software are Mind Test and Mind Test Game. If you go to uh, Mind Test, you can look down and see it's currently worked on. You can also uh, see that the first guy on here is Celeron. He's been working on this a long time. Da further down, you see further documentation. Their website is mindtest.net. They have a forum at forum.mindtest.net. Uh, the forums, you can see, has current activity. But if you also go and look around like at news, Celeron 55, um, back in 2011. So it's been active for more than 10 years. So you could see the GitHub. You could look at the software history and the releases going all the way back. Excuse me. You could see the forum that it goes back many years. And their website has a current, fairly current release. Um, you To get the free release, they're on MindTest 5.7.0. You can get it on, on um, Windows, Android, Google Play, F-Droid, Linux, and Mac OS. It's available for free on all of those. One of the reasons I'm showing you this is it's just a nice game that uh, you can play for free when you want. I'll do save as and put that in my games folder. I tried it before doing it in this um, in this video. Okay, um, show in file manager. Now you need to right click and um, extract all, left click extract all. I'll just say extract here. You could put it where you want. Uh, it'll take a little while, so I will um, edit this part out. Okay, at this point, it's 100%, and it's been extracted. It's in my downloads games folder, the file without the zip on it. I have to go in twice. If you go to the BIN section and scroll down to Mind Test, this, and uh, double left click that, I will tell it more info. And you saw why I've, I've, I've been playing this game for years. Um, I showed you their GitHub. I showed you their web page where I got the downloads from and I showed you their forums page. Um, you be your own judge. I feel like it's fairly reliable. So I'll say run anyway. Okay, now, um, if you install mods, that is your responsibility, okay? But they should be pretty reliable from the these packages um, when you browse the online content. These packages, I mean. Um, they're by different people, so you do run a little bit of a risk. But I do feel like they're fairly reliable anyway. Okay? Um, if I you click join game, you may get a Windows warning. You're gonna you may have to allow to see these public servers. Um, these servers have real people out of, and then there's the maximum number of people on the server. If you click it, you'll have to make up a name and password the first time you go in there. If you just want to play a game on your computer. If you have installed mods, all right, so first you have to click new to start a game. So I will do Traveler Theophilus YouTube.
And um, I'm not going to change anything off of whatever the standard things are here, just for illustrative purposes, what you'll get, create. Now it's been created. After you click new, cr named your game, create, then you play game. Let's make this full screen. Okay, you now have a game. I to see your inventory. You can left click on recipes to see how to build something. There are 12 screens of recipes in here for you to look at. Okay, and maybe in another video, if you're interested, I mean, try and let me know somehow. Uh, and it plays a little bit like Minecraft, but it is definitely has some definite differences. Spacebar to jump. I really can't do anything without trees, so that is a problem here. Um, so I will, um, so left click to dig. I for inventory. Here's your crafting section. I can go over all that with you. I'm going to explore out of the game and find some trees. And if you're interested in seeing another video, let me know. Thank you for watching.